for today's cup of coffee, we've got an article that um, is from Daily Mail. I'm trying to do two or three things at once and not multitasking very well. Yes. And this was from coffee. August the 19th of 2023 by Jessica Taylor and is from the Daily Mail. And the link will be in the description box. And basically what they're doing is referring back to a YouTube video from nine years ago. Right. Which is how I found, you know, about it. And this is by a gentleman named Josh Highcliffe. Mm -hmm. And I will link the video so that you can watch it. I'll say it only lasts two minutes and 16 seconds. And it says that uh, when he saw the the sasquatch and that's what it's a steal from that's what our backdrop is it's a steal from the video which not really good Although because the picture is... itself it looked at first it looked like a bear right but when you watch the video it yeah, ain't the, no bear yeah that's when you start to be like oh that that's a monkey and so it says that he had written on not his just any monkey though yeah, on his description box that it was October the 24th of 2013. And he said that he was about nine miles west of uh, Tonica, I think it is, how you pronounce it, Mississippi. And he so. was on his hunting property and it was about 6 p.m. And I'm just going to read what he has written here in his description box. Mm. And he says, I went out hunting hogs just sitting in a part of the swamp I have, where I had heard them before. It's not too far from a road. I was wearing hunting camo and just sitting dead still waiting for it to get dark because that's when the hogs come out. I hear a, a noise from behind the tree where I was sitting on and thought it was the hogs. And when I got around, I could not believe my own two eyes. There was this huge black thing crouched by a dead cypress about 50 yards away. I thought it was a hog, but saw these big shoulders and a head upright with hands. It looked like it was digging out out the stump. I guess I think like grubs or something like that. That's what I figured. Yeah. Because it's, apes will eat termites and different larvae and stuff. They'll eat grubs? Yeah. Dang. Oh, yeah. They're and, like poochy on that. That's, and, that's nasty. <laughs> and he says that my first instinct was to run, and I didn't even think about shooting. Then I know no one will believe me. It was like everything slowed down. I was scared. I took out my iPhone and started videotaping it. I guess I pushed the record button twice because it stopped blinking red, but I pushed it again. I hear a truck driving down the road, and the thing stood up. And in the video, that's when you really, really understand. Yeah. It's like, oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's an ape. That's a, that's a big feat. Yeah. And he said, I was trying to be dead quiet. When it stood up, I could not control myself and ran. That stump was huge, and I guess the sucker was about seven feet tall. I'm a hunter, and I'm a pr uh, pretty damn good at guessing size. That's no bear. I don't know what to think. If someone can tell me what it is or if someone was trying to prank me, I don't want to go back on my land. This is the first movie I've ever put on YouTube. The video looks better on my phone and computer. I always heard stories of skunk ape. That's what they call them a lot of times down in the, some of the swamp areas mm -hmm. because they stink. Yeah. And honey, smell like rotting corpses, apparently. That's that's what I've heard. I, various and so I guess it depends on whatever they've been eating and whatever they're living in. Yeah. And Honey Island Swamp Monster from these parts, but never thought about it being real ever. Has anyone uh, seen anything like this in Mississippi? And like I said, go, go and watch it because... There's a section where you can hear whatever this is pulling bark off of the tree. Like, it's ripping it off. Yeah, yeah with ease. Yeah. And, and you sit there and you're like, okay, maybe bear could do that. No. Because bears eat grubs. But when that thing stands up at, towards the end of the video, that ain't no damn bear. Yeah, no. No, that ain't no bear. And, and that ain't no man in a suit either. No. The the newspaper article or whatever you call it, I don't know. It's an article. The written word on mm -hmm. on this 
didn't do the video justice. It really didn't. No. And like anything, you've always got these people that are naysayers. And some people's like, oh, it's somebody in a gorilla costume. It's not a gorilla costume. If that's a gorilla costume, that's a damn good gorilla costume. And that person is very strong. Right. Maybe it was one of those $15,000 gorilla costumes like it did that's pretend to be a collie dog. Does it have built-in claws, too? Uh, that can know. grip that shit? I don't know. But like I said, when, it, when he stood up... Now, I don't blame dude for, run, you yeah. know, for running. I would have run, too. And right? And <laughs> Back, hauled ass. Everybody's like, well, everybody's got a phone, and they do this, and they do that. And no, not everybody holds that phone in their hand all the time ready to record something only a select group of people yeah those are the people that are chronically online and and i don't know the age of this this man that, that was hunting but if he's like me and is somebody that i don't i wouldn't think about it no i don't have that thing tied to my body 24 7 so if i saw something would I think to get the phone and record it? Probably not. I would panic and then run and then be like, damn, I wish I recorded that. And then the fact that this was a phone from nine years ago, yeah. that has a bearing. It didn't have the type of camera on it the way that, but I mean, well, I mean here, like here what was that? Is, an iPhone six? Uh, let's see. You asked me that. No, that, that was a rhetorical I have, question. I really I don't. I have no idea. He just said iPhone. I think. <laughs> like I said, it really doesn't matter. But um, you, you know, that's like my phone. I've got an Android phone. Uh huh. And it does not because I don't know what the hell I'm doing with some of this stuff. It if I click on the button, it does not automatically go to video. No, it's on picture automatically. Right. So you have to have to screw around with it before you get it to do the video thing. And even then, I still ain't figured it out. I'm not happy with that phone. Not been happy with it since first got it. Uh, if it makes you feel any better, mine's always on photo as well. That and I have to swipe right. Right. So, some of the people that are the naysayers, they don't know what they would do if they were in this situation. They really don't. Uh -uh. And skeptics would shit bricks. Absolutely. I mean, dude was just going out hunting. And as far as he's talking about hunting hogs and the, the wild pigs, wild hogs. Yeah. And these are, that's a dangerous animal. It is. Because people can can get gourd and whatever mm -hmm. they've got those tusks they they will eat you hogs will eat you domestic ones will eat you that's, why uh, that's they, how they dispose of bodies sometimes that's why the old saying they went to shit and the hogs ate them that's exactly right people have forgotten things that used to be <laughs> yeah but that it was for real that had happened at some point we and, don't even see a war hog around here anymore no i, I don't want to either. no hogs no no but you've got domestic hogs people don't understand how huge those animals are they're big they are huge and, and the people that work with them, they, you know, have to be strong. They have to be alert at all times. Nobody watched Dirty Jobs, especially that episode with Mike Rowe where he had to carry the pigs. Mm. Nobody apparently watched that episode. And they don't want to think about it. They don't want to think about where their food comes from. So, the fact that this guy, he was used to the woods. This is his land. He was familiar with that land. And all of a sudden, he's got something that's abnormal. He thinks that it's probably a bear or whatever, which that would be something you don't want to surprise if you walk upon it either. Mm -mm. No. But for him to sit there and when it ripped the, the bark off of the tree, that's when he realized that it wasn't a bear. Yeah, no. Because it had hands. Yeah. Yeah. It had all digits. Uh -huh. All five. All ten digits. And, and honestly, and I think on the, uh, About the article, about five, but that's one hand. The article they had said as far as um, the headline was, is this the best Bigfoot sighting ever? I, I don't know about that, but I know it's damn good. Yeah. And if it's a hoax. This is a damn good hoax. It is a damn good hoax. Like, I find that very hard to fake. And people don't, they don't want to believe in, in the Sasquatch. I don't know why. 
But regardless Mama, of how many sightings, all these things, people don't want to believe it. Well, there's people that don't want to believe in the paranormal, but it doesn't make it any less real. Yeah. Well, and the fact that, like I said, my mother those years ago, that she had no clue what the Sasquatch she heard sounded it. like. And she heard it. And she's like, I heard something I had never heard before today. And it's making this whoop, whoop. And I'm like, oh, my God. And I freaked out. The big feet. The <laughs> big now, feet. Now, the Appalachian Mountain Range goes all the way up north. I mean, it is, is a huge mountain range. And so... Could these creatures, if, you know, nomadic that they travel back and forth or whatever, I don't know. There's parts of these mountains that nobody knows what's in there at any given time because things are not always stationary. Right. But I know Ooh. it freaked me out. And so that's the reason when kids out here and he, he thinks it's funny because I just... this truly... Since I was a kid, that is a phobia of mine. I, I just have a phobia of squat. I just envisioned him like, like looking through the window, and I got chills. I got little and, chills. You know just when now. he's just like, oh, up Ew, there trying no. to call this thing. I'm like, don't do that shit. Don't do that because I don't want to go out in the middle of the of the night or in the early morning and have some encounter like this man had. He had never experienced this. He didn't believe that it was real. Well, he got it on film. Uh He got it on camera. iPhone. He got it on iPhone. Mm -hmm. He did. And I don't... Take that, bitches. He wanted it 4K. It's not in 4K, but it's in high definition. I I think, like I said, a lot of these people, it's these armchair quarterbacks... Well, I would do, and I would do, and it's like you don't know what you would do until you stand in there in that moment. Yeah, no. And you're seeing something that you're like, oh my God, and brain just sort of shuts down for a second. Yeah. It's that fight, fight, flight, or freeze. Yeah. Yeah. It really, truly is. And that he was trying to stay as still as he could, and there were still a little bit where he was just shifting his weight because to have to stand there in one solid position, even for two minutes, that's a long time. It can be, without making any movement, that's a long time. Yeah. So you can hear the, the twigs under his feet breaking a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then when, when that thing stood up, he turned tail and ran. I don't blame him. That was a smart man. It, I, absolutely, that was a smart man. But I tail it out of there. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, it wasn't a matter of keep shooting or, you know, with the, the videoing. And when he was talking about shooting, I know that because he, he had his rifle because he was hunting. I, he just didn't think about it. It wasn't bothering him then? I, I understand that, but it's one of those that it just didn't even click. Or, or go boom. Uh, sorry, it was just there. <laughs> I don't fault the man, but I want you all to, uh, you know, take it, take a couple of minutes, literally, and especially when that thing stands up towards the end of the video, ew, ew. no, nah, let fam. us know what you think about it. If you think that it looks like somebody in a in a gorilla costume or whatever, or you know, he wanted to know. He asked if somebody was pranking him. Yeah. But that's a dangerous ass thing if somebody was out knowing that this man was hunting, knowing that he had a rifle. That is not so. Anybody's hunting land, you don't want to go out there dressed as some kind of something like that. That's, that's a bad. That's a bad plan. That still doesn't explain how they ripped the bark off uh-uh. the tree. No, no, because when you hear hear that that crack of that bark, that's impressive. Yeah. But like I said, when it stood up, hails bells, I was like, no, uh, uh, no, no. It's that's an oh shit moment. Oh yeah, that's an oh shit moment. <laughs> no, that's a get the hell out of here moment. <laughs> what was it today that we had like that oh shit moment? <laughs> I've had lots of those today. I've had <laughs> lots of those oh oh my whole life. <sighs> yeah. 
So, <laughs> but we were turning to something, and it was like, "Oh shit!" I don't even know. I, I can't even remember at this point in the night. Final thoughts on the Bigfoot film? That is some good footage of Bigfoot. I thought it is. I thought it was, and I actually am really glad that um, the reporter went back and found this video to share with other people, which is what we're doing now. So that they can they can see this. There's a lot of stuff online. I mean, my God, how many millions or billions of videos are out there that are cool that nobody knows that they're there? Oh. You know. So it's like the music, and you were what was it you were talking about? It was trending on TikTok again? A song from the '80s. I don't know the name of the song. Was it One Night in Bangkok? I think it may have, it was either that or Putting on the Ritz by Taco or somebody like that. Well, Putting on the Ritz was popular as well, but uh, there's been multiple songs from the 80s that has right. been popular on TikTok. Right. And and as far as some of these artists that nobody has heard of for 30 years and still them doing all this copyright bullshit stuff, they ought to be grateful when some of their stuff starts to trend again because I, a lot of people... Don't know who the hell they are. Some of them are dead. Yeah, some of them's dead. So, <laughs> I think Falco. He was the one that was Rock Me Amadeus, and th I think that he died Amadeus, quite a while back. Rock Me Amadeus. That's yeah. the song that you were like that. That was trending on TikTok. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, but just cool stuff. So, as far as going back and rediscovering music or some of the you know, creepy videos and stuff like that and but, sharing those around. Hell yeah, I'll do that. But good artists, good artists are actually coming back. Like, uh, Hemlock Springs. Yeah, Hemlock Springs um, is good because they have figured Joe, out that music. I think some of these kids today that have had to listen to what they're calling music today, which is not. Joe. And, and the fact that they do hear some of these things on TikTok and they are exposed to music that is actually enjoyable. Well, th like I said, Joe as well, uh, DJO, th his song Gloom. I love that song. He's very much 80s-esque. Right. He sounds like he <laughs> came straight out of there. There was a lot of good, there was a lot he, of good he, music in the 80s. He could have been lined up with talking heads and all that shit. Yeah, yeah there's nothing wrong. It's like... There's nothing new under the sun. People are inspired by different things. Yeah. And hopefully we've edified somebody if they're going to go out and be pulling some kind of Bigfoot. Don't do that shit. You'll get shot. Even Oingo Boingo. Oh, Oingo Boingo was just, I mean, like, Danny I, Elfman. God love him. We need. I hear a, elements of the, Oingo Boingo in his music. Who is the next Danny Elfman out there? Do what? Who is the next Danny Elfman that is out there? I don't know. I'll let you listen to DJO and, and yeah, you let can, you let you decide. I don't think you, he's you the can, next Danny Elfman, your, but he's... You didn't do your Stratera today, did you? Did I have time? <laughs> did I wake up in time? Anyhow, it's been a long day. Well, just <laughs> refocus back on the Sasquatch. That's good footage, like I said. That's all. Yeah. And that's the final thought? Yeah. Go watch it. Watch it two or three times. We did. Uh, I was thinking that we might could watch it and comment it while we played it here in the on, the on our TV and stuff. But there's really nothing. You have to watch it. I, was, I didn't want to take somebody else's footage. I was really hoping that it would honestly make the sound. No, it didn't make no sound. Uh, he didn't stay long enough to hear it make any kind of sound. Yeah, I know it didn't, but like I wish it did. And I'm really grateful that the thing didn't give chase after him that would have been bad yeah well now you think of what kind of a stride a seven foot tall whatever has got i knew i i figured it wouldn't chase after him because but then again after the possum bite i don't trust nothing right, right well it's always be aware be alert keep your wits about you, you yeah know? so if you've had experiences with paranormal or supernatural encounters with ufos aliens cryptids you yes. can send us an email cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com big feet and the email is always there in the description box and we'll put the link for the um the news article but also to dude's video big thief gg it speaks for itself if you've got if you find some really cool 
footage someplace online and you want us to comment on it and, and stuff and give credit to whoever put the video up, hell yeah, let's share the wealth on that. Yeah, for real. Do yeah. so. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. Thank you all and have a good. Know that you're loved. Don't do stupid shit. <laughs> don't mess people. with no squash. I've seen so many people doing stupid shit lately. Don't be one of those. No, we got our quota. Don't mess Just with no squash. Know that you love to keep your wits about you, keep your head on a swivel, and Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cut. Bye. Bye. Don't mess with no squash.